our module 2, lesson 2 for the science 5 is changes in matter in the presence or absence of oxygen. Hi, do you know that oxygen forms stable chemical bonds with almost all the elements to give the corresponding oxide? Oxygen is very reactive gas. It has the ability to combine with many materials to form oxides. But when it combines with non-metals, it produces a non-metallic oxide. The presence or absence of oxygen has various effects on matter. Among these are combustions and rusting. Changes in matter may happen when oxygen is removed or added to it. In this module, you will be able to investigate the changes that happen in the materials under the following condition, presence of oxygen and lack of oxygen. Open your module on page 1 for what I know. Match the situation in column A with the scientific basis in column B. Write only your answer in your answer sheet. You only have 5 seconds to answer this activity and the timer starts now. Maaari niyong i-post ang video para magkaroon kayo ng oras sa pagsasagot. For letter B, supply the statements with the missing word or phrase. Isusulat ninyo ang wastong word o salita para mabuo ang pangungusap na ito. You only have 5 seconds to answer this activity. You can post the video so that you have enough time to answer the activity. Let us check your work for what I know A and B. Open your module on page 2 for what's in. Identify which among the following activities show physical change or chemical change when applied with heat. Write PC for physical change and CC for chemical change. Number 1. Melting of candle. Ito ba ay physical change? Kung physical change ito, isulat mo ay PC. At kung ito naman sa tingin mo ay chemical change, isulat mo naman ang CC. Number 2. Burning of wood. Ito ba ay physical change? Sulat mo ang PC. Kung ito naman ay chemical change, isulat mo naman ang CC. Number 3. Boiling of water. Is it physical change? Write PC. Is it chemical change? Write CC. Number 4. Cooking rice. Is it physical change? Write PC. Is it chemical change? Write CC. And number 5. Frying egg. Is it physical change? Write PC. If it is chemical change, write CC. Let us now check your work. How did you find the past lesson? Did you find it easy? If you were able to get the correct answer, very good. If not, this module will help you learn more about the changes in matter because of oxygen. Now, let's do it. Come and enjoy studying the changes in matter in the presence or absence of oxygen. Have you observed your mother slicing an eggplant? What was of the color of the eggplant while it was being sliced? What was its color after a few minutes? Were there any changes in color? Did it turn brown after slicing? The changes in color of the inner fleshy part of the eggplant is due to its exposure to oxygen. The same phenomena could also be observed in potato, banana, guavas, cassava, apple, and other fruits and vegetables. When you cut an eggplant, we see phenol turn into a melanin. This can only happen when cell is damaged and phenolase comes in contact with oxygen. Ibig sabihin, kapag ang prutas o gulay ay nadamage ang cell sa pamamagitan ng paghiwa mo, pagbabalat mo, ay na-expose ang phenolase nito sa oxygen. At pag nagsama ang dalawa, magbubuo ang melanin. Kaya nangingitim 
ang kulay ng mga fruits or vegetables na ating hiniwa. Do you remember the parts of atoms? The atomic composition of atoms, meron itong electrons, yung negative charge, protons, positive charge, at neutron. Ito yung walang charge. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. Ibig sabihin, ang oxidation ay nangyayari kapag nawawala o natatanggal ang electrons. Kasi, tinanggal ito o inalis ito ng oxygen. Oxygen is good to taking electrons. So, oxygen and phenolase work together to get the electrons from phenol and changes into melanin. So, this is an oxidation of phenol. Kaya kapag hiniwa natin ang fruits at vegetables na damage natin ang kanilang cell, ma-expose ngayon ang kanilang meat part. At pag na-expose ito sa oxygen, alam naman natin ang oxygen ay nasa hangin, aalisin ng oxygen ang electron ng prutas o vegetable. Kapag nawala na ang electron ng phenol dahil inalis ito ng oxygen at phenolase, ito ngayon ay mangingitim at magiging melanin. The same oxidation reaction in raisin, coffee, and tea. Another example of change in materials when oxygen is present is in combustion. It occurs when oxygen combines with another substance like fuel and produces fire with heat and light. Combustion is also known as burning. It is always exothermic that is giving off heat in combustion oxygen fuel and heat are always present. For example, when you lit a candle, its wick burns if oxygen and wax is present and a lot of heat is produced. Para magaroon tayo ng apoy sa combustion, burning, kailangan natin ng tatlong materials. Una ay ang fuel. Ang fuel ay ito yung bagay na maaaring masunog, kagaya ng kahoy, papel, tela, at marami pang iba. Pangalawang material is heat o yung source ng init, yung pangkagalingan ng apoy. Ito ay maaaring posporo, maaaring lighter, at marami pang iba. At ang pangatlong kailangan para magaroon ng combustion o burning ay ang oxygen. Kailangan ng oxygen para tuloy-tuloy ang apoy. Kapag nawala ang alinman sa tatlong ito, Biglang mawawala din o titigil ang apoy. The most common cause of fish kills is suffocating due to lack of dissolved oxygen. Most dissolved oxygen is produced by algae and aquatic plants through photosynthesis. Maraming factor kung bakit nawawala ang oxygen sa tubig. Maaaring ang bigla ang pagbabago ng temperatura, bigla ang pagulan, o mga chemicals na meron sa tubig. Kapag nangyari ito, ay nawawala ang oxygen na mamatay agad-agad ang isda. If oxygen is present in a wet materials with iron, such as nail or steel bar, the formation of rust occur. It only happens when iron, oxygen, and water reach with one another. Rust occur when iron or alloys such as steel corrode. Dust, rusting is commonly known as iron or steel corrosion. The two factors that influence the formation of rust in the iron are oxygen and water. Sa makatuwid, ang oxygen at ang tubig ang nagiging dahilan kung bakit madaling kalawangin ang mga bakal. Water and oxygen are the enemy number one when it comes to rust. To prevent iron from rusting, we need to keep it clean and dry and also prevent scratches and apply a protective coating such as oil, grease, or paint. Sa pamamagitan ng pagpipintura, palagi ang paglilinis at pagpapahid ng langis o grasa, may iwasan ang pagkabasa ng mga metal o bakal at hindi rin ito mapapasukan 
ng oxygen. Kaya hindi ito kakalawangin. Open your module on page 6 for what I have learned. Complete the paragraph below by supplying the statements with the missing word or phrase. Pupunan ninyo ng wastong salita ang mga blank upang mabuo ang pangungusap. You only have 5 seconds to answer this activity. Or, maaari mong i-pause o pahintuin ang video habang ikaw ay nagsasagot. And the timer starts now. Time is up. Let us check your work. Number 1, oxygen. Number 2, combustion or burning, rusting. Kahit magkabaligtad, okay lang. 4, 5, and 6, fuel, oxygen, heat. Kahit magkabaligtad, ice lang. 7, fire or flame. At 8, rust. For what I can do, in rusting a problem in your home, find 5 ways on how you can prevent rusting of materials that are made of iron. Make a list of it like one shown before. Magsusulat kayo ng limang pamamaraan kung paano may iwasan ang rusting o pagkakalawang ng mga bakal. Open your module on page 7 for the assessment. Choose and write the letter of the correct answer in your answer sheet. Sagot lang o letter lang ang isusulat sa answer sheet. And the timer starts now. Let us now check your work. Number 1, C. Number 2, B. Number 3, D. Number 4, B. Number 5, A. Number 6, B. Number 7, D. Number 8, A. Number 9, D. And number 10, A. Open your module on page 8 for the additional activities. List down the effects of presence and absence of oxygen in the exposed fruit flesh in a similar diagram below. For example, doon sa present of oxygen, ano kaya ang itsura ng fruit flesh? Ito ba ay fresh? Ito ba ay may pagbabago sa color? How about doon sa absent of oxygen o doon sa pagwalang oxygen? May mag magbabago kaya ang kulay ng fruit flesh o hindi? Ilalagay nyo din sa present and absent of oxygen kung sa mga sa isda, sa... Maging sa iron, nail, yung present and absent of oxygen. Sa combustion o yung sa burning, sa paggawa ng apoy. Ano kaya pag mayroong present and absent of oxygen? Lagay nyo ang sagot sa loob ng box ng present and absent of oxygen. You only have 5 seconds to answer this activity. And the timer starts now. Time is up. Let us check your answer. Congratulations! You have finished this module.